Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on your coding skills. So can we start? Uh, yes, I'm ready. We can start. Okay. So I'm going to give you a string and you have to find out the special characters from that string. So I hope you have idea about what you mean by special character. Right. Special characters are yeah. those characters which are not alphabets or not numbers. Okay. Yeah. So uh, special character are the ones which are not letters, which are not digits and which is not white space. So I have to uh, count characters which are not letters, digits and white space. Correct? Mm, yes, correct. And you have to print it. Yeah. All right. So let me uh, start. For this, I need two variables. Uh, first is uh, the string uh, that is an input string. So I'll mark this as uh, S and I'm, uh, I'll write cloud tech and add few special characters, uh, hash, add the rate and uh, exclamation. Uh, in this is a string in which I am going to find the special characters. So there are three special characters in this uh, string, and there is one integer uh, counter. Uh, this will hold uh, the actual count of special characters. So the initial value will be uh, zero. For finding the special characters, uh, I have to iterate over the string. So I'm going to use uh, for and integer i equal to uh, zero and this i will go till uh, length so s dot length and i'm going to do i plus uh, plus just to read the next uh, character so i plus plus so this will be my for loop and within for loop uh, i'm going to read each character of the string and check if it is a uh, letter or digit or white space and exclude them because uh, if i exclude uh, letters digits and white space the thing that remains is my uh, special character. So for that, I'm going to write, uh, there are methods in character class. So character I can check uh, is digit. So if it is a digit and I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to target the character at I. So s dot character dot I, but I want to exclude the digits. So that is the reason I'm going to make this as not. So it shouldn't be a digit and uh, your character shouldn't be a letter. So there is again is letter. Uh, so I'm going to do s dot caret uh, i and uh, it shouldn't be white space. So let's try to make this not. Okay. And the last one is and character dot is white space. My character shouldn't be white space. So it is s dot caret uh, i. So when I do caret i, I get the character at ith position from the string. So we are going from uh, zero to length minus one. So this is also not because I don't, I want to exclude uh, white space as well. And if it is none of them, then I'm going to increment the count. So it will be count plus plus. Uh, so for loop is done. Uh, after this, if uh, count is equal to zero, count is equal to zero, that means there are no special characters. Uh, so let me print uh, this out. Uh, there are no special special characters in string. Else, uh, if the count is greater than zero, that means we found at least few special characters. Uh, so I'm going to print uh, sys out uh, special character found characters found because there there may be many uh, characters found and uh, the number of characters will be in count. So this is my variable where count will be stored. All right. So uh, the outcome of this uh, program should be three because we have three special characters. Uh, may I run run this program? May, yeah. All right. Uh, I think you are on mute. Uh, yes, you can run it. So when I run the Java program, it says special character is uh, three because we have three special characters in our in our string. Okay. Can you now try to print the string without special characters? That is, you have to print cloud tech. 
okay so i need to remove the special characters yes okay all right so uh, this is the place which specifies that it is a special character so i am going to add else so uh is digit is letter and is white space all right so i need to remove the special character so in else if i come in else that means it is either the uh, digit or the letter or the white space so i am going to declare one more variable uh string special character uh, removed equal to i'll make this as empty string and if it comes in else that means uh, it is not a special character it is either digit or a letter so special character removed uh, equal to a special character removed uh, plus uh, uh, s dot caret i so i am considering all the characters which are either digits or letters all right and now i'll uh, print sys out uh, special character removed so this is my this will be my string after removing special character so special uh, characters removed all right and i'm going to append this so this will be my string uh, let me run this program yeah you can see special character removed and the string that remained is cloud tech okay perfect now uh, i have provided two strings in your chat box a b c d and c d a b can you copy it a b c d c d huh? c d a b c d a b okay yeah. so if you yeah so if you observe these strings these strings are rotation of each other so let us consider a uh, first string is a b c d and second string is rotation of first one c d a b so you have to write a program which will check whether these strings are rotation of each other or not okay all right so here uh, you are saying you have string 1 as a b c d string 2 as c d a b so uh, c d uh, is from it starts from here c d and the string continues to a and b so it is rotation of uh, string 1 all right yes correct yeah, yeah. So this is my uh, string 1 which is uh, a b c d and this is my uh, string uh, 2 which is c d b a now i have to find if cdba cdab uh, is the rotation of abcd correct yes correct all right all right uh, so let me write the logic for uh, that so this will be uh, to find the uh, rotation i am going to use i am going to use the logic where uh, what i'll do i'll uh, append the string one uh, twice so i'll make it abcd and i am again going to append uh, a b c d which is string one to this a b c d and try to find if c d a b is present in this so c d a b is present in this that means it is the rotation of uh, a b c d so let me try to write uh, this logic uh, first thing first i have to write uh, string str1 equal to a b c d this will be my first string uh, string str2 equal to uh, what is that cdab so cdab is my second string and now i have to find if this is the rotation i am going to write a method uh, which is going to be my public uh, static it is going to return me boolean uh, specifying if it is a, a rotation or not and uh, is rotation so it accepts two parameters one is a uh, string str1 and a uh, string uh, string str2 so string str2 i need to check if str2 is the rotation of str1 for that uh, the string to be rotation there are two uh, condition the first condition is the length of two string uh, two strings must be equal so i'm going to check uh, if or i'm going to return Uh, the first thing which is uh, string str1 dot str1 uh, dot length uh, should be equal to str2 dot length so if the lengths are not equal the string cannot be a rotation of each other and the second uh, case is we have to uh, 
we have to append string one twice, which is A, B, C, D. And I'm also going to append A, B, C, D once again, and then check if C, D, A, B is present in string one. So let's try to add that logic. And uh, so it is going to be str1 plus str1. So this, this is where I appended the string twice. And I'm going to check index of. And to this, I'm going to pass str2. So I'm just checking if I append uh, the string and uh, string2 is present after appending string1 twice. So let me uh, check this not equal to minus 1. So when the index is not equal to minus one, it means the string is present as a substring in, in that string. So uh, let me call this method. Uh, if is rotation string one, string two. And if it returns true, that means uh, the rotation is present. I'm going to uh, sys out. Rotation of uh, string is uh, present. Else, I'm going to sys out a uh, rotation not found. Rotation not found. All right. Uh, uh, may I run this program? Uh, yes, we can run it. A rotation of string is present. Can you test it with a different string? Yeah. So I make CD it CDAF. Okay. Rotation not found. Okay, fine. Uh, perfect. I'm done from my side. Do you have any question? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.